Hi, I'm Dom Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Big Bang Orchestra, Woodwind Packs, Neptune, and Orion from Vienna Symphonic Library. In continuation of the Big Bang Symphonic Library modules, Vienna's released two new Woodwind Packs, both recorded on the Synchron stage in Vienna, and um, because they're placed in the room with the same mic positions and whatnot, they'll blend perfectly with any of the Big Bang Orchestra libraries or any other libraries recorded on the Synchron stage. It does run in the free Synchron player AUVSTAAX and does require a Vienna key or a USB licensor. I highly recommend you have a Vienna key. And I also want to note here that if you are using Vienna Symphonic Libraries, be sure to update your Synchron player as well as your USB e-licensor and run that USB e-licensor configuration software if you got it on your computer prior to using any new Vienna libraries. Orion is Vienna's new Woodwind Sections library. It downloads as 20 gigabytes. It contains four woodwind ensembles playing in unison. You got three flutes playing together, three oboes playing together, three clarinets playing together, and three bassoons. There's multiple mics and additional close mics for the detail of those woodwind instruments. Comes with real legato, expressive swells, flutter tongues, and fast repetition articulations. The library normally sells for 195 euros. It's on a special intro price of 115 euros at the time of putting this video together. Neptune is Vienna's Tutti Woodwind Library, it downloads as 7.5 gigabytes, and it's a sample set from an ensemble of 13 woodwind players playing together in unison and octaves. It contains one piccolo, three flutes, two oboes, one English horn, two clarinets, one bass clarinet, two bassoons, and one contrabassoon. It's got multiple mics and additional close mics. It's got a variation of short and long notes, expressivos, Sforzando swells, flutter tongues, and normally sells for 95 euros at the time of putting this together. It was available for just 65 euros for intro price. Now, before we dig in to a first look, listen to the articulations, playing with some mic positions, I've got a little uh, demo I mocked up to learn about the library, and I'm really enjoying the sound of these two Big Bang Orchestra expansions. The more I use the Big Bang Orchestra, the more I love it. Here, let's have a listen to what I worked up. <laughs> Let's listen to some of this composition broken down into pieces. The beginning, there's this neat little half tone trill, the whole tone trill, where the ensembles kind of play off each other. I've got four tracks for this. I've got two of the instruments pulled up, and I'm going to solo those and just play that little section. And I think that really works well. Listening back to it, I think I probably should have programmed it with no piccolo, because that piccolo does kind of jump out there, which is one of the reasons it's great to have that as an option. Now, the piece starts off with a pretty cool um, bassoon and clarinet uh, staccato. I'll just play that so we can hear it by itself. <laughs> And then there's
there's a little lyrical section where I've got a uh, oboe with some flutes kind of playing off of each other in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and mute the strings during that section and play through it with just the woodwinds first. And now I'm going to go ahead and play that with the strings. And I think a funny thing happens anytime you have strings and woodwinds together, it sounds like an orchestra. I say this quite often. When you have strings, it sounds like strings. When you have woodwinds, it sounds like woodwinds. When you have them together, it sounds like an orchestra. So let's take a listen to that same passage, but with the strings and woodwinds together. And then probably my favorite little section at the end, using flutter tongues um, with all of the instruments. I'll just s solo out that section here. For the percussion for this track, I just use the Synchron Orchestral Percussion, Synchron Percussion 1. Now that we've heard it all as broken up parts, I'll just play it back one more time so we can hear it all gelling together. Let's dive in to a first look. I'll go back in time to when I first opened up the instruments. Okay, I've got the Synchron player loaded up. So first look video, we're going to listen to the instruments right out of the box together. And I probably will do a little mock-up that you just probably listened to. That's why I usually like to do these. So let's see, I've got Big Bang Orchestra Neptune loads up with two different versions. There's the 2T version. This one's velocity sensitive. And then there is the velocity crossfade. And I really like these because I can use my mod wheel for the performance controls. Let's see, where is it at? Control, right. There we go. My velocity crossfade for my dynamic layer is right on CC1. Of course, um, for programming, I'll use a multitude of uh, CCs, including 1 and 11. So let's go ahead and just start with our shorts. I'm going to mute my mic and just play through a number of these. This is the 2T Ensemble, so it's the entire woodwind section spread across the keyboard.
And there's a both um, without Piccolo and with Piccolo. There's an Agile Shorts mode. And then we'll move along to the long notes. And again, we've got without piccolo. Mercado versions for the lungs. And for anybody who hasn't orchestrated with woodwinds, you can see why having on and off with your piccolo is such a big deal. Because piccolo just can't get that quiet because it's so high and it just resonates in the room. So here's without piccolo. And you just see how it cuts through there. There's some espressivo. Uh, sustain. hit my pitch bend there. Let's go to the long copy. Is that a mistake there? I don't know what that is. Long end copy. Long notes copy. Hmm. All right, we've got our dynamic layers, and these are very cool articulations uh, for dynamics. And then we'll move on. We've got flutters and trills, um, which I really like the sound of these flutter tongues. Halftone trills. And whole tone. And then we move on to fast repetitions. And 
hallelujah. If you've been watching my videos with the Vienna Symphonic Synchron Player or the Big Bang Orchestra review videos, you'll know my biggest critique is the syncing feature. I've had trouble playing multiple notes, especially when it comes to turning on the stretch feature. I'm auto temping, auto syncing my beat to the tempo of my DAW. I'm at 120. I'm going to go to 130. Oh, and it chokes up again. All right. Synchron Player's new version has not solved my issue of the stretch for multiple notes. It just spikes out my CPU. And I've got a pretty decent Mac. It's a 2019. Um, so let's move along. Turning off the stretch feature. And I want to note there, my critique is that the stretch functionality in my computer uh, only will utilize one CPU. So I can use the stretch function with one note and then duplicate the track and create my second note. But to play both notes together in the same instrument spikes out my CPU. Sometimes, <laughs> maybe if I had three. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Once again. Again, if, except for this glitch, I've been really pleased with these instru instruments. Let's move along. And we've got a flute with a velocity crossfade, so I can use my mod wheel. You can see right here in my performance, it's tied to my CC1. Now, you can change any of these in the Synchron Player. There's so much you could do with controlling uh, parameters and um, assigning CC effects. But let's listen to the Orion articulations for the flute section. Out of the box, it's a pretty nice sound, although I'm going to see what my favorite mixer preset, wide surround to stereo, sounds like. And we've got our short notes. And you can hear that overblown happening on the highest dynamic level. And our agile made for faster passages. And then we've got legato patches. Now let's take a moment to listen to our flute close mix here. I could have just soloed, soloed it. It would have been easier, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Right. There. Yeah, just a little bit of that synchron room. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to mute that, f- that close. Yeah, again, I'm sold on this <laughs> wide surround to stereo for the woodwinds, I believe. Let's jump around a little bit. Let's listen to some oboe legato. This is usually one of the things that gets me real excited about sample uh, woodwinds. And then there's an espressivo. Check out the clarinets. Nice tone. Let's listen to the bassoons. Just jump through this one as well. Thank you. 
Okay, I heard a tiny, tiny bit of pitchiness, and I have to say, with the majority of both Neptune and Orion, I felt like the balance and the samples of these three performers, well, I should say for Neptune, it's the ensemble, for Orion, it's the three performers, they balance out really nicely. They have that tone of an ensemble where you don't hear one player standing out. You don't hear any intonation issues, except for that last thing I just played. That was the only time I've heard anything that was slightly mm, a little more human than some people might want. Another fine addition to the Big Bang Orchestra. Woodwinds done as ensembles and broken out of sections. I really like the sound of these. I use that um, surround wide to stereo and really love that tone. I'm just in love with that uh, mix here with the Synchron stage and the way the Synchron player gives you these options for mix presets. Overall, um, yeah, most of my critiques, I said them as we checked it out. And after mocking up the little piece that I did, I have a feeling that this is going to be my new go-to um, for ensemble woodwinds. I just love the tone of it. I just love how it resonates in the room. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is this something you're interested in? Are you already using Vienna's Big Bang Orchestra series, or is it something you're considering? Please comment below. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate the comments as it help guide me to figure out what videos to share on the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already, and be sure to head over to sampleLibraryReview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page. Thank you.